What's up, meatbags? It's the often imitated, never duplicated Tony TGD coming at you with a little video on PlayStation Lifestyles coverage of the Sense Cyberpunk Ghost Story uh, censorship issue. Now uh, I'm using this archive because fuck them. That's why, as you can see, the the headline it, it, it's it's a pretty good headline. Sense Cyberpunk Ghost Story developer and publisher categorically refuse the censor game. Sounds all good. Sounds like they're gonna have positive coverage of this. They're gonna let us know that you know people were attacking Top Hat Studios, calling for the game to be censored, calling the devs and the publishers all kind of horrible names. This is the kind of story it seems to be, but with many, many modern mainstream gaming press, the story isn't exactly what it seems to be. So let's go ahead and uh, just take a look. It's Top Hat Studios, the publisher behind Sense, Cyberpunk Ghost Story, released a statement on Twitter over the weekend decrying apparent demands for censorship of the title. Now right there you can just see, they're using words like apparent, because they're trying to get you, they're trying to coerce you into thinking you know what that this is all bullshit that there's not really any uh the cries against the game that they're not really trying to censor it that nobody is looking to censor the game that it, this is just nothing it's it's no big deal they let you know that the game was funded in 2018 it's one of the last vita releases it's coming to playstation 4 soon and then it tells you that it uh, first released on pc that average reviews so right there they're, they're trying to prime you they're trying to tell you that you know what the game wasn't good the game it's just an average game it didn't get a lot of attention people didn't really think highly of the game they're trying to put it in your mind that this is all just controversy stirred up by the devs controversy stirred up by the publisher because the game is it's just average it's just met with average reviews well you know what they don't have a link to the reviews for sense but I do. So let's go ahead and uh, shoot on over there real quick. Let's see how Sense is uh, doing right now. Currently, it's sitting at very positive. 150 reviews. That's all the reviews. The recent reviews, very positive. 62 reviews. But that's not when the game was released. We want to know what it looked like when the game was released. So let's see. The game was released August 25th. And luckily for me, we have an August 26th archive and as you can see the game was met with mixed reviews at launch one day after the game launched we had mixed reviews 17 reviews so it looks like you know they might be right but you know what let's let's go ahead and uh, jump ahead about a month so if we jump ahead a month we're now at 74 reviews that's more than three times the amount of reviews from day one and now we're at mostly positive so it seems like the game is trending upward the game is getting a little bit of hype. It's getting a little bit of good coverage. People are liking it. So you know what? Let's uh, jump ahead a little more. Let's see. In November 14th, the game is now mostly positive. With 81 reviews, we're now at mostly positive. So the game, maybe in the very first day, was met with average reviews, a mixed reception. But by November 14th, we're already at mostly positive. People are liking the game. The game is, is considered good. People like it. It's got a positive reception. And that probably led to the decisions by Nintendo and Sony to go ahead and let it be published on their platforms. Let's jump back to the article. Though. It's telling you it's, uh, it's impending console release is apparently the cause. Apparently, because literally when it was re announced from Nintendo Life that it was coming to the Nintendo Switch, people started attacking it. That's not apparently, that's a fact. As soon as it was published on Nintendo Life that Sense was coming to the Nintendo Switch on January 7th, people started attacking the game. It's a 100% fact. It's not apparently, it, it's a fact. See, they're, they're being disingenuous. They're once again trying to lead you to make you think that this is all bullshit, this is all made up. Now, uh, in the original article, not on the archive, but they have the actual picture of the statement from Top Hat Studios. Statements basically saying they don't give a shit, they're not going to bend the knee, fuck all the fucking crybabies, you don't like the game, don't play it. Now, of course, uh, this article goes on and says that uh, they went to uh, Reset Era. 
et cetera, whatever the fuck it's pronounced. And, and lots of people that were questioning that uh, there were no demands for censorship. They were questioning whether or not this was a cry for attention. And like I said, this was them. Earlier in the article, they were they were priming you for this because they're, they're leaning into it. They're trying to say that reset etc. is correct. You see, they don't offer any other forms. They, they're not offering any other statements, any other Reddit threads, nothing. They're just leaning on this Resetera thread that they linked, saying that people were skeptical of it. But where are the people that were saying, you know what? We were skeptical too, but we do believe it. And here's proof. Here's links to people saying bad things. They don't got none of that. They didn't look into any of that. They didn't do any research into people actually writing negative opinions, negative things about the game. Why? Because it doesn't fit in with the narrative. Because they want you to believe that cause of censorship, that, that people wanting to censor games to make them less, less sexual, doesn't exist. Because you see, PlayStation Lifestyle, it's, it's a PlayStation positive uh, publications, the PlayStation Positive website. They really love their Sony. They love their PlayStation. And we know what PlayStation loves. They love their censorship. Now, uh, if you think I'm kidding, if you think, you know, this is just me pulling stuff out of my ass, I'm just making up these connections, let's go ahead and uh, run down to the bottom of the page here. As you can see, PlayStation Lifestyle is a property of Mandatory, which is part of the Evolve Media LLC company. Now, if we go over to Evolve Media, LLC, they have a list of their clients, they have a list of their publications, they, they have a list of people they work with. And you'll find that if you go to this website, you go over here to the little clients page, scroll on down, hmm. Sony. One of their clients is Sony. So Evolve Media, which owns the publication PlayStation Lifestyle, does business with Sony. So do you think that they're going to allow them to go ahead and publish things that are negative towards censorship? They're going to let them publish things that make it look like Sony's an asshole? Hell no. They're going to publish things to make it seem like censorship isn't a big deal. They're going to make them publish things that downplay the fact that PlayStation is trying to get rid of all your anime games, they're going to try to downplay it because that's not the message they want to send. That's not the narrative they want to push. And that's the problem with modern mainstream gaming press. They're here to push a narrative. They're here to tell you things that they believe and that they think you need to believe. But you know what? Fuck that. Me, I'm glad that Top Hat Studios told these people to fuck, go fuck themselves. And even though that this isn't my type of game, I did review it, did a first impressions on it before. is isn't my kind of game, but you know what? I'm going to go ahead and uh, make a purchase. I'm going to go ahead and buy it. Even though I don't own a Switch currently, I might even fucking buy the Switch version just to send the message to these people. that You know what? If you fucking stand up, if you stand up for what you believe in, if you stand up for artistic integrity, then people will back you up. Gamers will back you up. But you know what? That's all I got to say about that. You know what we say on this channel, love, peace, booty grease, we out this bitch.